today we come here. Wow. Wow. In Chilliwack, day 33. Got a gorgeous day on our hands. We're gonna go check out this place called Bridal Falls. So I'm in this parking lot and there's all these spots in here that say small car parking. And I mean, that's a good thing because it encourages people to drive smaller vehicles better on the environment. But every parking spot in this entire parking lot is small car parking. So where are you supposed to park if you don't have a small car? You can't park. Just the worst. I gotta say the mountains around here, they have a lot more prominence than in the Rockies. And I think that's because like down here in the Fraser Valley, we're pretty much at sea level. And if a mountain is 3,000 meters tall, that means it's 3,000 meters higher than the ground. Whereas in the Rockies, if you had a mountain that was 3,000 meters elevation, and you were standing at the base of the mountain and looking up, it was probably only about 2,000 meters from the base of the mountain because the elevation of the ground is so much higher than, than it is here closer to the sea. Got some bad news. Bridal Falls Park is closed. So I think I'm gonna park and then walk in anyways. Seems like all the places I really wanna go are all closed. Park closed due to potential landslide or flooding during the winter season. Okay. Just means we gotta walk further. We're at the parking lot. There's no cars here. <laughs> ah, this, I'm all alone. This is really short, but that's where we are. And that's where the Bridal Falls are. Wow. Look at that. And I'm like, still at the trailhead. Super nice. This trail is so lush. It's even more lush than yesterday's trail. Look at this. Look at this. It's like a wonderland over here. Woo! There's lots of big trees here. Look at that one. So big. Wow. This was worth sneaking in here for. Look, I'm standing inside of a tree. This tree is huge. Wow. Those falls are amazing. If you're in the area, definitely stop by and check it out. It's worth it for sure. Just left Bridal Falls. We're gonna go up the Highway 9. It goes north, and we're gonna see what we can find. We're just gonna go exploring. Wild tractor crossings. Okay, I'm in the village of Harrison Hot Springs. We're gonna see what there is to look at here. First, we're gonna have another walnut. Oh, yeah! Oh, a little too much. It's good. That one's really good, actually. Okay, so Harrison Hot Springs. They got like a beach. It's like a lakeside town. Let's go check out the lake. Okay, so, this is Harrison Lake. It's a pretty big lake. It keeps going that way. It keeps going. Well, the town's actually called Harrison Hot Springs, so I assume there's some hot springs here too. So I might go, might go for a dip in the old hot spring if I can find it. And if it's not like attached to some expensive hotel. It's actually a gorgeous day. It's supposed to be rain later, so take up as much outdoors as we can right now. Out for a little booze cruise. Yeah, on the other side from the lake, you get a wicked view of the mountains. Look at that. So big. So bold. It's another boat. This guy's going for a booze cruise too. I bet ya. I bet ya he is. Sasquatch! Okay, back in the truck. So they do kind of have hot springs. They have a public pool which is heated by the natural springs. But it's indoors and the water's piped in and then cooled down because it's too hot and it would cook you like a lobster. But I think I'm going to check that out just to kind of relax a little bit. Just, just relax a little bit, you know? Yeah, the spring's actually right by the lake. Cool. Okay, we're nice and clean. It was nice. It wasn't too busy in there. Just right. Okay, we're going to head back to Chilliwack. Now one major downside to living out of your vehicle is that you can't dry off your clothes, like for example your swimsuit, after you go swimming. It just stays wet and it stays in your vehicle. So, 
One thing I've figured out that works very well, I'll show you what it is. Step one, find yourself a nice road that you can drive on. Two, open your window a little bit. Step three, hang part of your bathing suit outside the window. Step four, roll up the window. Now the part that's outside will dry. <laughs> the last step is the most important step. You have to make sure you have a firm grasp on your bathing suit when you open the window or else your bathing suit will be gone. Okay. Nice. That's gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Oh yeah.